Can we maybe use the shears on... Wait, what's that? I think we're gonna cut the actual lock on this thing. Okay, we're good. Woo! Man, that sounds scary as heck! Oh my god! I forgot all about this menu beat. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Final Nights for the updated demo. My goodness, this game looks crazy. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Liam for providing me a copy of this demo early, man. I appreciate you for that. I think now it's actually out for public release, so like you can go over to the game show and get this game yourself. We have played this demo before, guys, in the past, but Liam told me he's pretty much changed everything. So I'm excited to see what has been revamped. I don't know if we're going to do this for one or two videos. Like, I don't really know how much this demo contains. And like, they're back with the eyes again. Guys, just chill with the freaking eyes, all right? I am ready to re-experience this demo, guys. So if you are too, let's get straight in. Wait, uh, what the freak is that sound? Hi there, just me. I recently partnered with Ironside Computers. They provided me with an editing beast, and it's making video production amazing as of late. They're currently running a competition where you can literally win a free PC. Bam, there's the specs right there. If you guys are interested, link in the description down below. But if not, let's just enjoy this video, shall we? Let's do this. I'm ready. Holy crap, that slow pan with the glowy eyes. My name is Max Donovan. Okay, so we got the introduction and again. I'm a paranormal investigator. All right. Let's leave this again. It seems to have changed. I've been investigating Freddy's for over five years now. This and is new. I know. I know I'm close to finding out what happened. Mysterious disappearances, possible murders. No Kid attacked by an animatronic. Oh, this is dramatic. I, 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 I need to know what happened. <laughs> Calm down. It All could, right. It could be my breakthrough. I, 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 I. It could Dude. solidify me as. The man who solved Freddy's. This guy's heart is like 200 beats per minute. He got so excited to say that. Uh, who this? Pass it. What the freak is that on the floor? Is that like a dried up can or something? Dog turd? So he received Attached a package. This note is the keys of Fred Bears. Mm. I cannot disclose my name, my origins, or how I found you. But I will meet you there. Hmm. So someone slipped us this notice and a load of documents. All right, so we're an investigative journalist, and I guess we're trying to crack then the mystery of starters. Straight in, dude. This is very similar to what we've seen before. Let's look for changes, though, and also let's look for animatronics in this freaking smoggy area. I knew I saw something. Dude, look, if I pan now over this side here, you see that guy always watching? He thinks we don't see him. We pan slowly to the side. Oh, God, please, no. Fred Bear's Family Diner. Wow, okay, looks very busted up. And uh, this car right here, I sure hope this isn't the one we're driving, because this does not look good. And it actually is. My guy, I mean, if you're an investigative journalist, you need an impression when you're meeting your clients, okay? So far, not so good. Oh, so we've got like an inventory system, so we could put the keys in one hand, and that I guess- go the together. Wait, what? What, a torch and some keys? Like, are you sure? Seems pretty good to me, but uh, okay, I'll let this guy freaking decide whatever. What about if we put just the uh, torch in our hand? Can we use it somehow? Nope. Let's go ahead and leave that. So, uh, I guess the keys will be for the front door, of course, of the establishment. And, uh, do we literally keep- There's no combination to be found here. Wait, what do you mean? Can't we just use the keys? I'm not looking for a combination, bro. I just want to get inside. Things are kind of similar so far. The three-way system here. Can't go through the smoke. Like, watch this, guys. Freaking burn our face off. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I saw it coming, and I still got jumps, but come on! A step ladder? All right, I'm gonna go and put that in my backpack, apparently. Dude, we got some big backpack, then, that means. All right, got some problems trying to go back right now. There we go. Okay, okay, I think it was because I had my backpack open. So, let's check out this room to the left. Uh, a urinal. I mean, any toilets? I'm sure I need to go after seeing that animatronic to the side. Actually, no, let's go ahead and hold on to that, okay? And I mean, literally. Maybe we can use this in here? No, we can't. So, it's specific... Wait, what was that? Alright, alright, a little bit of noise. It's an old place. I mean, understandable. Maybe we can use the, uh, torch here? Hmm, I don't think we can. This, uh, is kind of confusing what we have to do right now. August 1973, a lot of calendar dates. I think that's the 17th right there. That has a circle around it. A day of importance for some reason. Where the freak is that, huh? Alright, we got this door here then. So we need a combination lock here. I mean, that's probably not gonna be it. Let's try 1973. Is that it? Yep! <laughs> oh my goodness me! Two planks right there, which probably means we need some kind of hammer. Now, can I not use the step ladder to make Maybe climb over this? That won't go together. Uh, I don't want to put a flashlight and a stepladder uh, together. There's a stepladder spot. I knew there would be something. So now we head over here. Oh, what? Wait, what the freak? That dude, all right, has an axe to the back of his freaking peanut head. Um, yeah, we're going to take that. And we're not, are we not saying anything about the fact that there is a man taking a turd, all right? And he's had an axe shoved in the back of his head. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm turning my sound down. I'm kind of scared. I'm ready to leave right now. Oh, 
My goodness, how long has that body been there? I mean, the stench in the bathroom was bad enough. Okay, so now we're gonna ax these two pieces of wood down. There you go. Nice, we got cutscenes as well. Hey, we got a button. So I'm assuming this is how we stop the smoke. There we go. Push that. Seems like it's cut something off. Let's do this. Oh, Let's make our way. God's so sake. the puppet is still doing his jiggy. Why does he always do this freaking dance? Oh, All right, the show's over, pal. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe the show's about to just begin. <laughs> the puppets like the attention, but he he doesn't like to be seen. So we've got to shine the light. We've done this before on the puppet guys, but the puppet himself, like, nah. Guess no one really wants to see the creator doing the work. Breaks the illusion. So dip your head down. All right, we're looking for those puppets. So we want to do that. That's when we see one of the puppets. And then when like one pops up on the other side, we do the same thing, I guess. Our flashlight's draining really quick. Um, wait, why is that happening? It's not draining at the moment, but I literally turned this thing on for a millisecond. Like, watch this. Okay, not with that one. That's just the drawing curtain thing. I was so close to clicking that right there. Man, he would have bit my giblets off. That was a good job. I actually missed my mouse button. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's not so bad. So we press the S key to wind up our flashlight. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. That is a nice touch to this minigame because, I mean, you were sitting there a long time doing nothing. The ability to wind that thing up in between the events, I guess, is it happening. It keeps things rolling. Oh, f Was that the puppet? What the heck? I guess? Um, I think that's the puppet doing something. Yeah, that's definitely him. So we don't want to do nothing. No. We're already good? Okay, well, there we go. I mean, we played that minigame properly in the last episode, guys, but now it's the meat and potatoes in this dish, you know? I think this part of the game has been reworked, and like, plushies, like, we've seen these before? Okay, less excitement. Here we go, man, straight with the call. Hello there, so, dude, where's my cursor, by the way? Welcome to my I, like, establishment. I can't click this uh, monitor, what the freak? Hold up, unless... <laughs> Space bar. Messing with you, Henry. Oh, got you. Okay. I'll give you the quick rundown on how the animatronics in the building Sweet. systems you requested actually function. We need to rehear this. You have your cameras up front. Okay. Activate them like by pressing space on the keyboard in front of you. Uh huh. Press S to exit back out. Got it already. I took the liberty to go into some state of the art tech for us here. And a screen that can detect your fingers' locations with invisible lasers. This is fancy stuff. For 1973? Anyway, what the buttons, heck? Switch cameras. All right. Any room with a green child so. can be selected. Okay, so this is here. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Oh. You also have your alarm and air refresh buttons. Mm -hmm. For now, you'll only need the alarm. Got it. Pressing it will signal up so, right, loud, so and bright alarm to ring in whatever room you have selected on the camera. And now, on to your I saw that movement. Buddies, courtesy of me, of course. Uh huh. Come on, Fred get it on. First, I gave him the role of power management. Basically, if he noticed the lack of people, he would go into different rooms and try and find guests or staff members. Yeah, we have to bring him to the, the office. I think empty, he'll shut off the power. Uh huh. It's not something really? you want no. now, is it? So where is the power yeah. switch so we can like you know, figure this out? All you have to do is to you. He'll go uh -huh. after any noise. So whenever he's taking a break to take in any sounds or signals, try ringing the alarm in nearby moving. rooms, leading him towards you a couple of times. Uh huh. Once so simple. Wait, was that moving? Say, okay, nothing. Party room one. Then ring the alarm near your office. So let's try the arcade in the corner, by room one, beast. and learn to us, maybe. For if you wear your guard uniform, you'll be a chip inside it, not register you as an intruder. Got it. However, you didn't exactly fit the last guard's uniform. What the freak is he trying to say? Wow, all right. But well, if he does okay. manage to enter your office, that's, that's Freddy. try and stay completely That's for Bonnie still. here. So watching Freddy moving, he's heading straight up. Moves. So we're going to see him there, Lastly, I think. You stay completely still, I guess. Wait, hold up. Where was he? Probably won't register you as a human. Probably. So wait, right. where did he go? Like okay, hyperspeed off camera? Good luck. Who's I'll there? See you tomorrow. All right. Thanks. Uh, was it Henry or something? Oh, I don't freaking know. You know what? I just want to live this one, to be honest. Where is Freddy going? I'm not seeing him there. I think it's only these two for the night. Wait. He was in the arcade. So wait, he's like decking it to here? Dude, he was literally just there a second ago. So wait, ring this? It says bring him to party room one or something? Okay, he's there. So I'm going to lure him here. Maybe he can, like, jump rooms. I think this is about three... Let's go about five times to be safe. And hopefully Freddy's gonna be coming his way. He's gone from the puppet corner, so he's definitely on the move. Dude, he's in party room one. Okay, so we back out, then we ring the alarm here. And then he should see us, and then he's like, okay, I don't need to turn the power off because the place is still active. Fifth ring. That should be more than enough. Come on. Hurry up. We know you're out there. It's just a waiting game. Let me double check. He's not there. That... Okay, then we wait, I guess. He looks at our face and he's like, okay, people still in this establishment. I hope it's ready. Mm hmm. That's him registering stuff. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> he's going on his own way now. Man, this game is freaky. So. That's Bonnie, maybe? Or is that Freddy going back in there? Good stuff, nice little start. So we definitely understand the mechanics much more so than last time. That was a big problem, like trying to lure 
Fredbear to you. I got that first try, and I guess exactly what I did was exactly... What the... What the freak? We can see Freddy, so I'm gonna ring maybe the show stage? Maybe he's gonna go back. Look at his face when it rings, though. Oh my god. Still, this is Bonnie. We already know how this night terror works, so completely still. No single movements right now. Don't! Straighten our grill. Woo! And he's gonna back off any moment right now. There you go. Still, don't move. <laughs> Ain't never played a FNAF game like this one, man. Freddy's back on stage as well. He, like, packed himself away. And it is coming up to 4 a.m., so we are doing swell right now. Got both Bonnie and actually Freddy, well, under control. I'm pleased with this one so far. I do have questions. Are we going to be seeing these guys laying on the floor in later nights? Because, like, if so, maybe I should use the back door before they wake up. I've just realized a big exploit we could do for Fredbear. Uh, where's the free roam aspect to this night system? Because, like, I'd run over to the jukebox, play some of those good tunes, and then straight up, we're done. We'll never have to worry about Freddy. Bear like looking for us because he's gonna be hearing that audio all the time. He'll just be stood there like looking at the audio cue like Yeah, humans here. Okay, there's that sound again. I don't think we have to look in the vent. There's like weird Who's here in the triangle? Dude, I don't know there's a di It's like getting more intense. Let's just focus on this. So Freddy has packed himself away on stage I've said that a few times. I think Bonnie has done roughly the same thing So uh, yeah, I think we've got this fairly under control, you know, there's some movement when we see the static Freddy's back up. So we gotta wait for him then, I guess, to go in the different rooms. And uh, it's a waiting game for this night. There's only two of the animatronics active. No, I can see his arm just... Look, he's like coming back and then he's like, No, I'm not gonna go that way. Make your freaking mind up, all right? Check around pretty quick. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Where did I just see him? Okay, so he's there. So let's go ahead and ring the bell then in party room one. I'm gonna do it six times. Nice even spread between each ring. We're gonna make sure he definitely hears that. And he, what, what the freak? He just like phase shifted out. Okay, if he goes now to party room one, we got this on lockdown, man. Ring then into the hallway. Friend Bear, come this way right now, all right? He's definitely left party room one. So now it's a waiting game. Did Freddy hear us or, I mean, okay, let's wait. It's basically 6 a.m. though, guys. I think we're good. Hold out. Just doing some kind of like backmasking thing with that. There you go, with Fred Bastard straight in the doorway. 6 a.m. Woo! So, what? They asked, I can't even, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the house from Nixon's game? Wait, wait, no. There is no freaking way. I was gonna end the episode here, guys, but this is really awesome. I'm really liking this game so far. So I'm gonna have to at least investigate this portion. We can go up to the porch. Looks like there's two chairs set up there. Maybe some kind of back entrance. You know what, let's go straight ahead first. Let's check out what have we got. <gasps> I can see literally there's a silhouette of, I think, Fredbear. Oh my God. Back up, back up from that one. I don't like that. Let's just take a quick pan around. Nothing in the forest, I don't think. This is a highly likely chance there is. We got a private property, some kind of gate system here. This is weird. Dude, this is really, really something. So we can look that way. We can go that way. There's something else we got to see though. Deeper into the forest? Okay, oh no, just around the other side of the house. I'm going to keep my wits about me so much during any aspect of this game though because these animatronics they're still there. Look, there's a light source illuminating. Someone is home, human or not. Go ahead and hop the fence, I think. So keep outdoor. Let me just walk up to this. Yeah, we can move that. So F. Oh, freaking quick time events. Let's go. Door is off. Went. Oh, dude, stop, 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 stop. What is that? I'm trying to see. It looks like Foxy with the jaw, but I don't know what that is. That is a pair of shears right there. Don't get up. Do not get up. Okay, there's nothing more around. Happy to be out. I kind of understand. Like, could we place the wood back on there? I guess not. Unfortunately, I don't know why we wouldn't. So with this small arrow here, there's like a small one which keeps appearing. Let me try and click that. That must be like a shortcut, I guess. So uh, let's go back out of this place anyway. Can we maybe use the shears on... Wait, what's that? I think we're going to cut the actual lock on this thing. Okay, we're good. Woo! Man, that sounds scary as heck! Oh my goodness me, <laughs> what? The crank can set them three. Use it, but be weary. The last person they saw wielding it wasn't friendly. Oh man, he's giving us a bad impression. Oh my God. Dude, we can't. Holy crap. They dragged us in the house. Dude, this is crazy. We'll do some investigating. I don't think I'm going to get this, though, guys. Uh, there's the crank. So in the basement. Woo! What the, the ambience to this house is nuts. We had, like, a jukebox, stuff like that. 
Man, I'm not ready for this jump scare. I'm not. I know something's about to come my way. There's like a bed in here, uh, overgrowth, and that's about it. Let's go on upstairs. Is that an eye? What is that? I don't know what I've just taken, guys. I'm not sure at all. There's nothing more in here. So let's go back out. Oh my god, this is so tense. What the freak is that? Dude, that sound. There is something in the building. Well, we know there is. Oh wait, we just built something here. So we're building up the crank, maybe? Can we try and uh, use this on this guy? Okay. F oh my god! There's something behind me! Oh my god! Go, go, go! I'm spamming this so quick, guys. I don't know. What the is that monster behind us? Oh my god. What have I done? I think I busted up? I did something, I guess? The freak dude, I don't know what to do! What? This is insane. Honestly, Liam, you have outdone yourself. This looks so good. Like, there is so much more world building to this game alone. Like, oh, this is good. I can't wait for the next part. All right, then, guys, we're going to leave this here. There is a night two to this game, and it's going to be pretty insane. We're doing this part here. Like, I still don't know what to do exactly. Then we're going back to the establishment and doing the investigation part. It's just there is so much going on, and I can't wait to experience what else happens, I guess, even in, like, the regular 6 a.m. night system. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, why not drop me that like crane and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.